Hello, Mark Calloway here, and today we're going to take a quick look at project templates inside Revit. So, starting from the Revit home screen, under models, I'm going to click the new button here. And straight away, you're presented with choosing a template to start your project from. Now, Revit comes with a number of templates preloaded, but more than likely, you're going to want to create your own custom company template. Okay. Now, when we start a new project, we have the option here to either create a new project, which is the default option, or we can start a project template. Now, we're going to start a project template. Now, it's always good to have a basis from your template. So, I'm going to use one of the um, standard Revit templates here. I'm just going to pick the architectural one. And we're going to use this as a starting point for our template. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail in what you need to create in your templates. It's going to be very much down to your um, own organization. But you're going to want to start thinking about having certain families preloaded. You might want to set up certain view templates, uh, schedules, your company line types and line weight, set, line weight, line weight settings, um, and your title blocks and that sort of stuff. But what we're presented with looks pretty much like a project and for all intents and purposes it is. So we're setting up this project as to how we want to start uh, when we start our own projects. Okay, So we would customise this template and then when you're done you're going to want to save it. Now if we just go File and Save, now the difference that we have here to save in a project is the file type at the bottom here. So this is going to save it as a template file rather than a project file. We can give this a sensible name. I'm just going to leave it as template one for this example and hit the save button. Okay. And we now have a template file that we can use when starting our projects. But we're going to want to have it in that list when we start a new project. To do that, we need to change some settings in the Revit options. I'm going to go file. I'm going to go Options, and in File Locations on the left hand side we can see the list of templates that we're presented with when we start a new project. To add our new company template into this list we just need to click the green plus button on the left hand side there. We can then navigate to where we've saved our template file which should be on a, a central location where everyone can access the file and we can add it to the list. And if we want to give it a better name than what we uh, the name the file as, I can type that in this box here. So maybe I'm just going to put in company template. We can reorder this list, and if we move it to the very top, then when we click the new button, it will be the default option. Okay, just make sure that that's at the top there. And if I go File and New now to start a new project, you can see that our new company template is the default option. Thank you for watching.